In recent years, mental health has developed into one of the most widely debated topics in the world. More and more people are opening up about their experiences with disorders like anxiety and depression. But despite the progress, there's an ingrained stigma attached to mental health, with many still choosing to suffer in silence. When it comes to mediums that realistically portray mental health, comics are at the top of the list. It's easy to think of superheroes as unstoppable juggernauts who are beyond the comprehension of us mere mortals. But many of them suffer from the same struggles that everyday people go through, including issues with mental health. The Marvel Universe contains a variety of characters who have all experienced difficulties with their mental well-being. Given the company's motto of wanting to reflect the world outside our window, that should probably be a given, but it makes these arcs no less important. Heroes fight villains all the time, but it's often their internal struggles that are the most important. Hank Pym, Bipolar Disorder Hank's condition was generally used as an impetus for more dramatic plot elements, and therefore, how he managed his condition became an afterthought. He certainly had more identities than your average hero, and by the time he got to Yellow Jacket, his mental health had completely spiraled out of control. This resulted in Hank's confusion over his new persona, as well as domestic violence against his then-wife, Janet Van Dyne. Although Hank's mental illness, his official diagnosis is a bipolar disorder, hasn't often been handled particularly well, he has been confronted with these issues more than his fellow Avengers. Even the smartest people in the world deal with mental health, and Hank Pym is living proof. Despite having a long list of scientific accomplishments, Pym's intellect is often overshadowed by his mental health struggles. Realizing he needed help, Pym worked as hard as he could to redeem himself in the eyes of the Avengers. Eventually, Pym diagnosed himself with bipolar disorder, and he concluded that all he could do was manage his condition one step at a time. Daredevil Depression Depression is one of the most debilitating disorders to live with, and Daredevil is no stranger to its effects. Daredevil's mental health struggles are an important part of his character. They have taken center stage in iconic stories like Born Again and the Elektra Saga. To truly understand the man without fear, you need to understand the root of his depression. Several explanations have been given over the years, but a recent story that focused on Matt's mother, Maggie, depicted her as having postpartum depression. A form of postnatal depression, Maggie's illness almost drove her to kill her son, which is why she ran away. Years later, Matt reunited with Maggie and didn't hold any grudge against her. With depression running in Matt's family, it's no wonder that he has suffered with what he refers to as a demon. But Daredevil continually fights against his depression and doesn't let it define who he is. His fighting spirit makes him a true superhero. Black Widow Repetition Compulsion Saying Natasha Romanoff, also known as Black Widow, had a tough childhood is kind of putting it mildly considering she was raised to be an emotionless assassin. So it's not a surprise she grew up to have difficulty getting close to people. Romanoff normally maintained a controlled, almost emotionless persona to keep whatever she was thinking a secret unless she was around people she trusts. To not feel empathetic or concerned or upset about what you're doing at all, you'd be pretty walled off, explained Saltz which manifests itself in something called repetition compulsion. John Walker, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Impulse Control John Walker, who has recently taken up the mantle of Cap in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, is the complete antithesis to Captain America. While Captain America is supposed to symbolize the best of America, as well as the drive to set the wrong parts of America right, John Walker is simply doing what he wants, without some sort of consequence. 
John Walker is an impulsive, overly aggressive hothead and would rather charge into a situation, guns blazing, and sort out the casualties later. These negative qualities are amplified tenfold after he takes the super soldier serum, murdering a flag smasher in a heinous fashion after Carly accidentally kills his friend Lamar Hoskins or Battlestar. Chasing down a fleeing man who has surrendered and beating him to death is the furthest thing from heroic and Steve Rogers would never approve. Tony Stark suffers from anxiety. When it comes to Tony Stark, the risk of PTSD is higher. Soldiers returning from recent military combat zones have nearly double the risk. Why? Well, certain factors can increase the risk of developing this problem, including repeated exposure to threatening events. This may mean that the development of post-traumatic stress symptoms may occur only after a certain threshold of experiences is met. Tony certainly seems to have a high threshold. From his father's unexpected death to his three-month imprisonment in Afghanistan, Tony has experienced numerous traumatic events in his lifetime. Tony sees Yinsen, his new friend and only companion during his captivity, die from gunshot wounds while trying to buy time for Tony's escape. Fear of fear Unexplained panic attacks exposure to a traumatic event can often explain the presence of nonspecific sudden symptoms, such as heart palpitations, shortness of breath, tremors, nausea, insomnia, or unexplained physical pain. In Iron Man 3, Tony exhibits many of these symptoms. His panic attacks are characterized by hyperventilation, heart palpitations, and something called derealization. The feeling like you are outside of your body or that your surroundings are unreal. Mental health awareness continues to reach the forefront of American culture. Most mental illnesses were previously met with a good amount of unfair stigma. That sentiment is becoming exceedingly rarer as research shows us how complicated mental illnesses are. Marvel comics have been at the forefront of awareness for mental illnesses for quite some time. To break down the stigma, mental health needs to be constantly talked about in TV, films, and other media. The more it's normalized, the easier it will become for people to share their feelings and overcome the fear of being judged. Check out one of our newest videos here. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on more videos about your favorite Disney and Marvel characters and the psychology behind them. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.